Yeah, so I think it'll be ready by early next week. Okay, that sounds good. Why are you working from home again? I was shooting the Huawei Nova 8i. Oh, Huawei? Yeah. Oh, they got decent products, but I really need Google to survive. Actually, Huawei has been coming out with some really cool products lately, but a lot of people, including some in our comments, are still afraid to switch to Huawei because they think there's no Google on Huawei. Now, this is a pretty big misconception that a lot of people had that Huawei just can't run Google. So basically, all new Huawei devices are running on the HMS, which is the Huawei mobile services. But that doesn't mean Google cannot be used on Huawei. The App Gallery and Petal Search have actually come a very long way from when they were just launched to allow you to install pretty much any application that's available. Huawei has made some pretty big improvements recently, partnering with local and international vendors and developers to give you guys support for a majority of the applications that you can find on pretty much any other store. For the sake of this video and as an example, we're going to be using the newly launched Huawei Nova 8i in this testing and showing you how we can install all the different applications. We're going to be breaking it down in a variety of applications within certain categories that people use day to day. So that's communication, productivity, entertainment, gaming, photography, shopping, all these different applications that are most popular in the world. But even before installing these apps, if you're switching from a previous device, whether that's iOS or Android, how do you clone all your information from the previous device to the new phone? Using the phone clone. It's pretty simple, really. Once you're setting up your device and you reach the point where you're asked to set it up as a new phone or transfer all your information from a previous phone, all you're gonna do is select to transfer from the previous phone using the phone clone application. Then on either your iOS device or your Android device, just install the phone clone application. After that, it's a simple step of launching the app on your old phone, using the barcode to scan the QR code on the Huawei phone that you're setting up, and that's about it. All your information like calendars, pictures, contacts will quite easily be transferred from your previous device to your new Huawei device. Once you've transferred all your information from your old phone to the new phone, it's time to set it up with your favorite applications and exactly how you want to customize it. So we're going to begin with the first and probably the most important category, which is communication. So here we have pretty much all the applications that you'd use on a daily basis, like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, WeChat, any communication application fits into this category. There's three main ways of installing applications on a Huawei device. Number one, you can use the app gallery. This is the most common and all the popular apps are going to be on there. Number two is Petal Search. Applications that cannot be found on the app gallery can quite simply with one touch be found over on Petal Search. Now, if you're looking for specific Google applications within the Google Play services, you can quite easily use the G Space app to install all these specific applications like YouTube, Google Meet, Google Drive, anything involving Google Play services. I'm gonna head over to the app gallery and search for Telegram and WeChat. Both these applications are pretty easy and straightforward to download from the app gallery. Now, if I want to install applications like Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp, I'm going to search for the applications with Petal Search. Petal Search basically looks for the newest version of any APK in order to install it on your Huawei device. And it's pretty easy with the Nova 8i to use multiple applications at the same time if that's something that you're into because of the multi-window feature where it operates multiple applications on the smartphone at the same time, just like you would get with a tablet. We move on to our next category, which is the productivity applications. So here again, I'm gonna be installing the most popular productivity applications in 2020 and 2021, which is Google Meet, Google Classrooms, Zoom, and all those can be installed pretty easily as well. So in order to do this, we're going to be using G Space. Within there, you're going to see a bunch of applications that are specific to Google that you can install using G Space and also rely on the Google Play service, meaning that you can log in using your Google account and it'll be signed in across the board. So YouTube application with your Google account, the Google Drive application with your Google account, Google Meets, Google Classroom, all can be accessed within there. So the next time you have a video call or a classroom to join, you can quite easily do that with your Huawei Nova 8i or any Huawei device without having to worry about no Google on Huawei. Now, when it comes to email, if you're not someone who really relies on specific applications, you can actually integrate all of your emails, whether that's Gmail or Hotmail, into one email that Huawei provides. This is under the Huawei mobile services, much like Apple does with their own email where they integrate different accounts into one. Now on to entertainment. And this is something I think a lot of people use on their smartphone all the time. So we've got different applications like YouTube, Netflix, Astro Go, iFlix, 
all these apps can be quite easily installed. Now, most of these applications are available to install using the app gallery or the petal search, while if you wanna get the traditional YouTube app, you can use Gspace. However, there's another version of YouTube that's kind of like the YouTube Premium without any ads or anything, but for free, which is called YouTube Advanced. So if you don't want to get ads on YouTube and want to play music streaming off of YouTube in the background, YouTube Advanced is a pretty good alternate for that. So with this, you can pretty much stream the entire day with your favorite applications without even having to worry. With the Huawei Nova 8i, for example, you don't need to worry at all. You get a massive 66 watt supercharger to charge your phone up to 100% in under 38 minutes. Under the Shopee category, we've got the most popular applications like Lazara, Shopee, JD Sport, Taobao, which can all be downloaded on the app gallery. I mean, online shopping is one of the biggest ways people purchase now, so it's not a surprise that this is pretty easily supported using app gallery. Now onto my favorite category, which is photography and video. The most popular applications you can get right now are CapCut, PixArt, and B612. All of these are available in the app gallery. So the Nova 8i, for example, comes with a 64 megapixel AI quad super camera that takes some really great shots. And using these editors to edit your pictures or videos using that can really up your production. Lastly, for our gamers out there, most applications can be installed for your gaming needs using the app gallery, but if you can't find them, the pedal search is right there to help you out. So most games like Mobile Legends, Roblox, Genshin Impact can be installed pretty easily. And even games like PUBG Mobile can be installed using Petal Search. Again, gaming on something like the Nova 8i is pretty comfortable. You've got a 6.67 inch edgeless screen to run your games to the maximum experience it can give you. And the processor can handle it fairly wet and medium graphics. So really good experience overall. Finally, you've got your e-wallet and banking applications that can all be installed very easily from the app gallery without the need for petal search because of Huawei's partnership with local developers here in Malaysia at least. So personally, I find this quite straightforward and easy compared to how it used to be before. Like I said, Huawei has come a very long way with the app gallery and petal search and the integration for G spaces as well. So while it can be an inconvenience for some, I think Huawei has put in a fair bit of effort to make it a lot easier for a lot of people to install their favorite apps. If you have any questions, do let us know down in the comments. We've done a bunch of Huawei devices recently, so check all of those videos out. Check out the Huawei Nova 8i link is gonna be in the description as well. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated and we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, 